Ladies and gentlemen, take a look at your screen. So on June 26, the Avs hoist Lord Stanley, right? And no one was happier about it than the dude who cashed a championship parlay for the ages, turning just $1 into more than $1,300 by picking four 2022 champions. Who is this absolute genius, you ask? Allow me to introduce you to him. Cameron Hughes of Franklin, Tennessee, just outside Smashville. What's good, dude? How you doing today? Hey, I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing fantastic, especially after I learned how excellent you are in placing and make, ter, being able to turn $1 into $1,300 on the DK Sportsbook. I want to talk to you here about the yeah. process of building this thing, man. So you place it back on November 11th, and the first yep. leg that needed to hit was Georgia winning the title. So you got the Bulldogs at minus 110 there on the DK Sportsbook. Is that what, yep. like, sparked this idea and kind of got the wheels turning? Um, a little bit. Actually, the brands were the first team I was kind of building that around. Uh, my roommate and I were talking about it, um, and he said he, he was kind of feeling the Rams. Just, um, you know, they had the momentum going, and uh, with getting Stafford brought in, it was kind of his time. So um, I put the Rams in first and then kind of rolled from there. All right, so is it you and your roommate? You guys are just bored. You're chilling out, like, on the couch or whatever, and you're <laughs> just like, dude, I'm just going to put a dollar on, on something crazy, and you're talking about the Rams. Let's start there. Like, how the heck does this, does this begin? Yeah, honestly, we were just kind of looking around and uh, just the idea of the futures parlay came up. I think he said, hey, let's let's try to see if we can get something crazy um, and rolled with, we'll, rolled with it from there. Okay, so then how did you end up like settling on Georgia and then the Warriors and then the Avalanche? Yeah, I was really impressed with Georgia's defense, obviously. Um, I watched that entire the Clemson game week one um, and just kind of had a feeling it was going to be tough to for anybody to beat them or, or score on them. Um, and then the Warriors, uh, I knew Clay was going to come back eventually and just was kind of hoping he would get back to the, the form that he showed there in the, in the playoffs, which thankfully he did. And then you had the Avs too, because the Avs have been expected to win it for a couple seasons now, but you had so much faith in them that they were actually going to get it done this year. Yeah, honestly, I, I got to be honest with you. I did not watch much hockey until the Avs playoff <laughs> run or until later in the season. Uh, just kind of like a, uh, a neutral fan from there, from that standpoint. Uh, but once like they got close to the playoff time, I, I definitely tuned in. And um, now I can say I'm an Avalanche fan because that was uh, <laughs> that was insane to watch that run. Yeah, right. Now, and once Colorado was crowned the champion, how did you celebrate your victory? Um, well, I drank a couple beers and, and <laughs> had to calm the nerves because I was a little nervous. Uh, after the first period when they went down one nothing in game six, I was kind of getting worried because um, I had a lot of people telling me to hedge and I just, I didn't want to hedge. That something was telling me to let it ride. So yeah, it's the, the, the gambler's instinct, right? Yeah, for, for sure. I mean, in the end, you just put like a buck down on this thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, do you, are you splitting it with your roommate since he kind of like played a part in this thing? He actually hit the same um, parlay um, through you guys, but he did not put the Avalanche in. Oh. So he had the um, the Rams, Warriors, and Georgia. Oh. Um, I just I added the Avalanche to mine for some reason, and it stuck. That's sick. Are you a big parlay guy? Like, are, are those usually the kind of bets you place on the DK Sportsbook? Yeah, definitely parlays. Um, like, I love playing like the anytime touchdown parlays and first touchdown parlays during NFL season. Um, but yeah, definitely more parlays than straights, uh, for sure. Okay. Yeah. It sounds like you're a big football guy, right? Is that, is that your yeah, sport? Football guy. What's that? I said, is that your sport? Actually, uh, my favorite thing to bet on is actually, uh, like NASCAR and any kind of racing props. Uh, you guys have a lot of, uh, um, you know, different, uh, options, which makes it fun. Driver props, matchups, head to head, things like that. Um, uh, really like betting on, on racing with, uh, through you guys. Yeah, we, we talk it on this show, The Sweat, every Friday, too, with uh, Pierce Dietrich and Jeff Ulrich. I mean, what do you plan on doing with the money here? Any, any big plans? I know it's not a bajillion dollars, but you still <laughs> turned a buck into, you know, more than 1300 here. Oh, yeah. Um, actually going to the race next weekend at uh, Atlanta Motor Speedway. Nice. Uh, so definitely going to drop some of it there and some merch and uh, enjoy myself there. Um, and honestly, might hit the casino with the rest, whatever's left. <laughs> at a boy. See if, see, if we can turn, see if we can turn it into to, uh, – you know, a couple thousand. Yeah, just keep it going. Just keep visiting the DK <laughs> Sportsbook. I mean, we love you for that. You're obviously great at picking champions. So go ahead and just tell me real quick, who's going to win the World Series this year? 
Um, actually, I just put in another futures parlay last night, and I, I went with the Houston Astros. Okay. I know a lot of guys are high on the Yankees and Dodgers, but um, I, I just don't trust the Yankees bats to uh, to stay hot uh, all through October. Man, they're the hottest on the planet right now. So are we looking at like an ALCS and Astros, Yankees? I don't think anyone's going to be complaining about that. That's going to be a lot of drama, man. Not at all. Their, their series have been fun to watch just in the regular season. They, I was watching the game last night, actually. It felt like a playoff atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And Aaron Judge is he's must see TV right now. Uh, Cameron. Insane. Yeah, Cameron, you're the you're the man. It's great having you part of the DraftKings Sportsbook family, dude. And, you know, we appreciate you. We love you. And uh, good luck down the road, dude. Keep doing your thing. Yeah, hey, I appreciate it. Hopefully we'll be talking to you guys soon.